Look, sometimes you get a boat out on the open water and you catch a wind and the sails fill and she comes to life under you and it feels like more than just wind and water and vessel. It feels like there's something else going on, something pulling you forward and, and surrounding you at the same time. Am I making any sense? You're making perfect sense. It's just you're saying it to the wrong girl, Jack. But I feel like this feeling comes along once or twice in a lifetime if we're lucky. Tell me I'm alone in this. Tell me I'm alone in this and I won't bother you again. I know you're in love with Amanda's father, but I guess it was more important to hide that from the world than to help the little girl that he left behind. You have an active imagination. Who needs imagination? I've seen the videotape. It's no wonder her life turned out as rough as it did, but you could have prevented that and you did nothing. Nothing. If you don't stop telling lies about Amanda Clark, I'm gonna start telling the truth about you. Well, maybe she doesn't want to be found. I know you really care about her, but... You can't fix a person if they don't want to be helped. But if you just seen this tape, Emily? She was just some little girl that everyone stopped fighting for. I always thought it would be Amanda. That feels like the only part of me left hanging on. Her is gonna be buried with him. Maybe Sammy knew it was time for you to let go. Maybe that's why I jumped up on you in the park that day. Why I kept running over to your house. It was leading me to you. Since the night Sammy died. It seems like forever ago. Yeah. Yeah, for me too. If I could go back and tell him. But you can't. We can't. No. What I remember is a feeling I didn't have a word for yet. But when I was old enough to recognize it as love, you were gone. But that feeling stayed with me. You were always in my heart. On top of all the misery, to find out that you were lying to me too. You didn't just know each other, you were like sisters. It was a part of my past I didn't want anyone to know about. Why? Didn't want to tarnish your perfect image? <sighs> the same reason you didn't tell me what was happening with the Ryan brothers. Pride. Self-preservation. What else didn't you tell me out of self-preservation? That Amanda loved you from the moment that she met you. And none of that ever stopped. Not in the foster homes, not in juvie. None of that was a lie. I don't have time for this. I gotta bury my wife in an hour. That would be a victory for your late wife. There's no victory for Amanda. She's gone. Which is why my child's being raised without a mother. But after all the horrible things that woman did to Amanda, I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. She always seems to get what she wants. People like them always do. Not him. Not this time. So it's true? You're really gonna marry Daniel? I am. I don't understand why you didn't talk to me about it. I tried to tell you, Jack. But then Amanda was there and she was pregnant. And suddenly you had this whole new life out of you. Not anymore. I was married to Amanda. And you were supposed to be her best friend. How could you agree to marry into a family that we both know ruined her life? I wish I could explain it to you. And someday I will. Emily, I am so tired of all the secrets and the half-truths. It's always someday with you. You should go be with your new family. You betrayed me. You used me, and then you tried to get rid of me. Comrade, stop, stop lying! Do it. Pull the trigger. I deserve it. No. What you deserve is to explain to your grandchild why he doesn't have a father. What you deserve is to live a very long, very painful, tortured life. Unlike your husband. Emily, go away. This has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. Don't throw your life away because of the choices that I've made. What choices? What are you talking about? Deep down inside, you've always known the truth. I'm Amanda Clark. <laughs> but I didn't know how I felt about you till this moment. And I'm sorry. I just don't feel anything. But I will let them suffer. These are terrible people doing terrible things. This is what they deserve. Did Amanda get what she deserved? Did Declan? Will I, once the Graysons start connecting dots, because they know what Amanda Clark was trying to do to them, they just killed the wrong girl. Yeah, you're right. Well, so am I, but what can I do? You're the source of most of her pain, unless you're here to give me permission to tell her the truth. 
You really refuse to accept responsibility, don't you? She's your sister. Tell me, when exactly did punishing the guilty become more important to you than helping the innocent? Is this another one of your plans gone sideways? This man has killed my wife. He's killed my brother. All I've wanted is to find a way to make him pay for something, anything. Do you know him? Aiden Mathis. He works for me. Who are you? Jack. No, no, I keep telling myself I don't want to know. Like, maybe I'm trying to protect myself or you, but the more I see, the more I, I wonder what happened to that little girl that I met on the beach. What happened to her? She lost everything, Jack. How do you not get that? I know about loss, Emily. Believe me. But that doesn't explain what you're doing. What do you want, Jack? I want to know that you know what you're doing. Of course I do. Would you even tell me if you didn't? You were always secretive. Even when we were kids, when we'd see a shooting star, you'd never tell me what you wish for. And I realize now it's not because you didn't think it was going to come true. It's because you're afraid. Of what? Of letting people in. You know, maybe I was a lot smarter then. Because had I not told you the truth, who I really am, maybe you wouldn't hate me right now. I could never hate you. And not for lack of trying. Just after seeing Aiden today, I... I think you deserve more than you're getting. You don't even know him. And to be honest, you don't know me. Not anymore. You're right. You want to know what I used to wish for? That nothing would ever change. And you're just now saying this. Why wait till now? I know it's because you were just too busy protecting your plan. Which I changed because you asked me to because there was a time, Jack, when you were my best friend. But look at what you've become and who you're turning me into. You are so selfish. You use everyone who cares about you. I lost Amanda, too. You've taken everything from me. Even this moment, this goodbye. I know Amanda deserved better from me. I just hope that one day you can understand why I needed to do this. What happened? I literally have no idea how to answer that question. If it's any consolation, you are the strongest person I have ever known. Trust me, you are the toughest, most annoyingly bullheaded person on the planet. I'll admit that there have been times I never wanted to see you again, but we've had a lot of fights this summer, actually. It's my fault. I, I've been holding on to all that pain and, and anger and putting that on you. It's not fair. I'm so sorry. Come back to us, Emily. Stay out of this, Jack. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. You okay? She's fine. I wasn't asking you. Oh, you think you know everything, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Now pick yourself up and get the hell out of my bar. You abducted Charlotte to get the Graysons to confess? How did you even find us? Charlotte was missing. I thought that I needed your help, but then when you guys didn't answer my calls, I knew something was up, so I had her boyfriend track Nolan's phone. So what? No one in their right mind would think you guys are up to something this sick. You need to leave. Why? So you don't have to confront your conscience? All I can see out there is Colleen. It's not gonna happen to Charlotte, you know that. She doesn't. We can't allow her to suffer. Take Porter with me. You kick me out and I will blow the whistle on this whole thing. I'm not leaving, Charlotte. Wow. Where were you two heroes when I was nine years old being dragged out of my house by men with guns, thrown into the foster care system? Charlotte has always been protected and she will be fine now. Why are you here? Because I care about the innocent person locked up in there. You're not just here for Charlotte. You're worried about Emily. For her soul. Maybe. I have to let her go. But you, you obviously can't. You still care about her. But the problem is you don't want her. You want Amanda Clark, that girl you cherished so long ago. You will see that girl again, but only if this plan succeeds. You did the impossible. I know that all of this came with a price. Stop. You haven't only honored your father today. You honored Declan and Amanda too. They'd be proud of you. I am. Victoria deserves to die. I know that. Emily was this close to getting her life back. Doing something like that might rip it all away again. She needs us. We need to protect her before she goes too far. Nolan was wrong. You don't look anything like a stripper. <sighs> Jack, you don't need to keep coming over to check in on me. I'm fine. Listen, at the Academy, they drum into us this idea that we're working for the greater good. And I know that that's what you were doing in your own way, but you know I was never okay with that. You were waiting for me to be done? Jack, you didn't have to put your life on hold to protect me. No. I'm just glad that it's over. That you're moving on. Are you done making your statement? Charlotte is out of your control. You can't make the people you love change. Even if it's for their own good. I can't stop you. No, you can't. And Emily, if Victoria turns up hurt, or worse, I will arrest you. You were there. I thought things would change. You were happy to have your dad back. Now you're doing this again? 
If she's corrupt, I want to know. If she's not, I want an apology. Look, my alibi will hold. I've done this a million times. I know what yes, I'm doing. Yes, we've done this a million times, but you were only human. And you were struggling this time. Because what happened last night is traumatic, and it is going to have an effect. Take the day off. Get your head together. Grieve. It's what humans do. Jack, just worry about yourself. I've gotten away with bigger things than this. No one knows that better than me. Well, I don't mean to interrupt. I just need to know how Emily takes hers. Rare. The bluer, the better. Let it go, Ems. The only reason you're even considering this is because of, of how you feel about her. Does she know? She knows. I'm past that. Positive? Make sure Emily's not your glass of scotch. You have to know that there's someone out there who's a better fit for you. I realize that my timing is terrible. I get that, but Jack. I'm doing this now because I can't watch you be with anyone else. I have one certainty in my life, Emily, one. And that is how I feel about you. It's always been you. From the moment Sammy ran up to you that day. Things between us, Jack, they're, they're messy. Life is messy. But you find a way. You have done and sacrificed so much for me. You know how much I care about you. But what? I can't, Jack. I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait around. I'm leaving. Have you talked to Emily? There's nothing left to say, Nolan. I told her how I felt. She made it clear she didn't want to be with me. Look, it's time I faced reality. She never wanted me to be a part of this anyway. Only because she was protecting you. She loves you, Jack. <laughs> I can't hear that right now. And I certainly didn't hear it from her. We both know that what Emily says and what Emily feels are two very different things. Yes, we do. Emily's never going to stop. She can't. This life, it's all she's known. And, you know, maybe it's maybe it started out as some way to keep her father alive when she thought she'd lost him, but it's turned into something else. Something that she either can't let go of or doesn't want to. Things will be different now that she can be Amanda. I mean, my God, just give her one more chance. No. I'm asking you, as a friend, don't ever tell me that she loves me again. Why didn't you say goodbye? Goodbye, Amanda. You know, I have the most distinct sensation of deja vu. Just saying. Thanks for being here. I wouldn't be anywhere else. I'm here by choice. I wanted you to stay. I want you to stay. I realized how badly I had messed all this up. That's why I went after you. It's five minutes too late. Or maybe four years too late. I want to be with you. That's why I need all of this to work. Why I'm going after Mason if I have to cut my damn foot off. I want us to have that chance. You're safe. I'm here. Remember that day I ran into you and Sammy at the park? Suddenly, I felt like everything was going to be okay. You've always made me feel safe, Jack. I know things got complicated since then with Aiden and Amanda, but I never stopped feeling that way when I was around you. This whole mess isn't over yet, and I don't know how it's going to end. Neither do I, but I know that I won't let it end without this. On behalf of Amanda and myself, I'd like to take a moment to remember the people we love who couldn't be with us today. My brother, Declan, who always encouraged me to be the best man that I could be. Emily Thorne, to whom we both owe our lives and who brought my, my beautiful son, Carl, into this world. And my father, Carl Sr., and our friends, Aiden and Ben. And finally, David, who we lost earlier this year. We miss you all more than words can say. I love you, Jack Porter. I love you, Clark. <laughs>